What's up everybody? 915 Mang here. You know what time it is. Just doing an update today. Hope you guys are doing good. If you guys are just tuning into the channel, never been here before, you might want to hit that subscribe button as uh, I do a lot of updates. I was checking out the Cherry Corals website and uh, I was looking at some of the things, different Zoe's, different Pallies, things like that. And uh, I went ahead and clicked on some stuff. I started clicking, started adding. And next thing I know, I end up getting something in the mail at my front door from uh, Todd at Cherry Corals. Now, I did pay for this stuff. Uh, just put it out there right now. I didn't get any discounts or anything like that. But uh, let me show you what I ordered and uh, you guys can follow along. Now I did order quite a bit of different pallies and zoas due to the fact that uh, my tank is where I want it and I'm going to start growing things out like crazy. I'm going to have a large variety mixture of different colors and like I said I did pay for everything although I probably should get a discount just saying. It had been uh, several years since I ordered from them. Uh, I've ordered from a very variety of different other companies out there. Um, the first time I ordered through them, it was like at least seven years ago. So it was time to go ahead and order. Picked up some stuff and uh, see what uh, I got. It's cool that you know you get a little stick of glue. I don't know if this is like a one-time deal or if they always do it. I have no idea. It came with the, the polyp labs and the uh, a pretty cool sticker uh, I'm gonna use this sticker put it on something that I have fish related and uh, I like it because it's like a little dragon right but it has all it's all made out of different corals you can see the zoas and things like that pretty cool you know so anyways I want to know you know since we're talking about these online orders and these coral unboxings that I've been doing the last couple of videos have had nothing but a coral unboxing where do you guys get your corals? Um, who do you shop for? And go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. Uh, definitely will check them out. And if you sell corals, um, let me know your website or whatever. And maybe I might order from you or maybe you might kick me a discount or something like that. But anyways, uh, as you can see, picked up quite a few Zoas. Uh, one of the ones that I really, really have been wanting was that uh, AIO it's that blue Zoa and then it has uh, the little yellow center I've been wanting one of those I think it's called the AIO I forgot but there's so many of uh, uh, different Zoas to uh, with different you know crazy names um, like this punch drunk the butt munchers the butt munchers are actually pretty cool they uh, glow they're like uh, fluorescent uh, blue lagoons pretty neat raptors um, picked up a bunch of different pallies but like I said let me know who you guys order from these are the ones I really wanted the ultimate AIO they're pretty cool because you know they're also were very expensive I'm not gonna lie they were like a hundred bucks speaking of a hundred bucks how much is the most expensive Zoar or pally or coral in your system that you have I've seen uh, some crazy amount of prices I was looking at Cherry Coral's SPS, they had something there that was listed at $300, $400 for a frag. Man, I'm not trying to pay $300, $400 for a frag. Uh, I don't even want to pay that much money for a colony. You know, but, you know, they have it and people have it out there and people have the money and, and they will buy it. Uh, myself, I like to buy uh, frags and uh, I inspected the corals and... Uh, as you can see, there was a tiny Asterina starfish. There you go. Uh, I look at the stuff. I always inspect and I dip. So this is coming from one of the top vendors, but uh, they definitely had an Asterina starfish where you really got to watch out with those things because they will eat your zoas up, your nice expensive zoas, and they will also eat up your corals, your SPS. I know some of you guys will say they're harmless, but I've done been reefing for a while for and I can tell you they're not harmless. They will eat your stuff up. 
So those are the new frags that I picked up on the tiles. I glued them there um, and hopefully they do good. They're a lot easier to keep track. Um, I started taking out all the sand in this tank. I was siphoning them out, all the sand. Um, when I did the tank move, I totally threw, a much, threw away as much sand as I could. But there was still some sand left over in the tank when we were doing the move. And um, all of that is mostly out now. But as you can see, the pallies, I ordered quite a bit. And they're the brighter white tiles there. And uh, they're looking pretty good. These are some of the other corals that I've ordered. Uh, and most of my corals, I get them from uh, My Reef to Yours. Great guy, Jared. He always does a hookup. And uh, he has some good stuff at good prices can't complain at all but i don't know about you guys um i'm digging the like the look of the tiles you know of course i gotta organize them i have stuff all over the place but uh it's a lot easier to maintain and you know keep track of your corals now i will say that the snails that i have knock things over all the time and that was kind of the problem that i have i would put them the frags on the sand bed and here come a snail rolling over them and knock them into the sand. And then if you don't catch it, your corals will die by just hanging out in the sand. I'm really liking the look of this. Um, and it's doing really good. I like the way that the natural sunlight hits the tank. You know, in the mornings it'll hit the tank. And in the evenings it'll hit the tank. I do have shutters there. So I can uh, block the sun a little bit. But I like the way it looks. Um, I haven't really been having an issue with algae. You would think you would have a, a lot of issue due to the uh, sunlight and all that hitting the tank, but you know, we most of the time I keep the shutters closed and it's not really that big of a problem. Uh, I still have quite a bit of issues with the tank. Like uh, I had a lot of Mohano uh, anemones and I still have them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm doing to take care of them. And this is not like a 100% deal, but I still have my Mohana wand. Um, and I do not recommend buying the Mohana wand for Aptasia. For Aptasia, the best thing to do is get some uh, Ber Nudibranch Bergias. But for the Mohanos, I'm gonna try this thing. I bought this originally for the Aptasia. You just plug it in, push a button, and you zap them. And it, it does like take them apart. But for the Aptasia using this thing, I think it makes it worse. Um, the only thing that works for the Aptasia is, you know, the Nudibranch Bergias for me. And I had a whole bunch I can show you, but you just go back to the old videos and check them out. And uh, this thing, I'm going to go ahead and use it for the Mohanas. Let me know what you guys are using. I know some people use super glue. Um, if, and I know there's stuff called Joe's juice it's like lemon juice um, but I'm gonna use this thing and as you can see I have a bunch of this stuff and I started my tank this tank off with uh, dry rock because of my live rock had it was covered in it but it really doesn't seem like it mattered that I use dry rock because they just started multiplying and filling themselves in but you know what you just got to stay persistent and you definitely will beat this beat those little suckers and uh, you'll win but at the same time if you don't keep up with it like anything they're gonna be a nuisance and they're gonna take over your tank now this thing is plugged in to the wall I'm gonna just show you take a close-up and then I'm gonna be zapping these guys here in a minute these things are annoying you know they sting your corals and they're definitely a pest as you can see that I don't know what's getting released from this thing but yeah it works for the most part um, it's not my preferred method of getting rid of them. You're supposed to have your flow off and then once you're done zapping this thing and killing it, you're supposed to pick up all the body with like a net. Um, I try to do that as best as I could, but to be honest with you, it's pretty difficult to do that. I definitely know there's other methods of getting these guys. Um, for the Aptasia, people use calc washer paste and then they use that and they inject these suckers with the calc, walk, calc washer paste um, I guess you could probably do that with the Mohanos as well uh, this is kind of fun using the Mohano wand I'm not gonna say it's gonna take care of your problem for you 
uh, because I just haven't seen it. Um, it has, you know, killed some, but in the long run, I really haven't seen it like be the like, the, the uh, go-to problem 100% working. Uh, it just doesn't. But I'm definitely open to hearing your guys' suggestions. What's worked for you guys? What hasn't worked? Maybe this thing is uh, the best thing since sliced bread. I don't know. But for me, you know, it's fun to use. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but man, you got to be on top of it if you want to use this thing. This thing is not overly priced. It's a hundred and something dollars. But, and uh, I ended up keeping the box that it came with for storage. Every time I use it, uh, I definitely rinse it off with uh, water. Try to clean it up as best as possible. And so that way the salt water doesn't corrode it and it stays close to brand new, you know, but if you take care of stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool. It does have the long tip. You can reach into the holes. And uh, I'll just let you guys see for yourself. If you have the money to buy it, go ahead and buy it. Um, but they sell other things uh, like lasers. I got gifted one time some lasers from my friend Tim. Uh, they have the Kalkwasser paste, which is probably the most economical way. I don't know if that works or not. I'm going to try it as well. But this thing is pretty fun. And it's not too uh, overly priced, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for hanging out with me again. If you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, consider hitting it and we'll catch you on the next one.